Okay guys, we got this 2019 uh, Ford F-150 and we got a bunch of ABS codes here. Uh, pump motor control, pump motor control, pump motor supply voltage open. So I'm going to go after this pump motor supply, pump motor supply voltage open. This uh, C052F, I'm going to look it up real quick. And then we had some of these other ones, I cleared them all, but the only ones that came back were these top ones so far and a crash code. There's this uh, crash event stored. So... Uh, quick bring up diagram and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I scanned the car and uh, you'll see these permanent codes. These are permanent because they're stored in mode 10. So we got this P0443 pending and we got this P1630, I mean 3F, which is the solenoid codes were never programmed at the dealership. So I'm going to see if this tool can do it. I don't know if the tool can do it or not. Let's go back to, we'll go into TCM and then we'll come back. We'll see if we can do it. If not, we're going to hook the J box up because it'll say like trans data corrupt because they never programmed it. Let's see, TCM, uh, right here. No, TCM. Oh, it might be in here. Let's see. Yeah, transmission. Oh, this says transmission ID blocks corrupt. So that's what we need to fix in our PCM. So I don't know if to scan to all to do it. If not, we'll have to get a subscription and go in with our J box. Okay, guys. So we're gonna go through the. Uh, FRDS and we're going to program this thing. So let me turn the key on real quick. And we'll go through this step by step. And we'll see if we can get this trans data programmed. Let's see. Let's see, start a new session. I got my Cardac M connected. What is it? There we go. Is it going to start a new session? Oh, I forgot to press the checkbox. There we go. There we go. Can you text me that photo with the solenoids? Huh? Can you send me that photo with the solenoids? Yeah. You can just text it to me. That'd be fine. <coughs> Let's see. I really don't know why the dealership didn't do this. They should have did this when they programmed it. Well, an asshole. They want to charge him. <laughs> Hundred eighty dollars an hour. Yeah, but they should have programmed it. Like, I know. <laughs> well, you know the the economy, you know. So they're trying to get. But that's part of it. Like the thing won't. You take this out in the road, it's not going to shift right at all. It's going to shift like crap and probably stop at like thirty five or something miles an hour. I just hope this doesn't go into like an anti-theft lockout. <laughs> huh? I just hope this doesn't go into like an anti-theft lockout. JKD. Wow, this thing only has 424 miles on it. Huh? This only has 424 miles on it. This truck only has 424 miles on it. Yep. How do you know? Because it says it on there and it oh. came up on here. Let's 
So we'll go into his transmission characterization. This procedure will replace this IDN module, provide solenoid data, and provide functionality to replace. To try this, we'll see what happens. Let's try it. Uh, we'll try this one. Let's see. I had him take a picture of it. Let's see, did he send it to me? Did you send me the photo? Yeah, I did. Okay, because I didn't get it yet. Yeah, see that? They never programmed it. Uh, so now we're going to type these in. Okay, let's see. Zero seven. Okay. Uh, let's see. Zero five. Six C. Zero two seven. B. F. E nine eight. I think that should be right. Zero five six three zero two seven B F E nine eight. Oh, I typed this one wrong. One nine three two six four four seven eight one. There we go. Update. So we'll look on the network. Successfully updated. Look at that. Done. There we go. Let's exit. Exit. There we go, now let's see. Uh, you tell me that whatever you need to, uh, whatever you need to get the uh, buy, that he buy. Okay. Just let me know what, what, what you need to, you know, to get everything done. Hello? Okay, thank you. Bye, love you. We'll just clear all this. Let's see. Now complete.
go. Let's see. Look at that. No more solenoid code. Huh? No more solenoid codes. What's that? For this transmission. It was a pull? No, they're no longer there because I programmed it. Yeah, so guys, uh, I, I went back a year in the diagram because uh, we had this fuse 108 right here, 60 amp. Like I couldn't find a fuse box diagram. And we had this 70 because we were getting that code for that motor circuit. And let's see. Yeah, right here. So it feeds B positive. So then went back a year. And we got this fuse 108 right here. And I hooked my test my headlight bulb up and it didn't light. But then we took the power probe. And we connected the power probe right there and added power. And no more codes. So guys, I found this F109 right here. And when we look it up on the diagram, it shows it's a constant power, like F108. And it goes to an inverter that I'm assuming the truck doesn't have. It's a direct current, alternating current, DC slash AC inverter. So here's my test light showing that uh, this one over here lights up, but this one does not. You like do you use a headlight to test stuff? I'm gonna make one of those. You're gonna make one? I have a video of making it. You just gotta watch what you do it on because that pulls 10 amps. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I use both. Well, one pulls 5 amps, the other one pulls. Uh, the other one pulls uh, 4 amps. Let's see, vehicle's on. Let's see if we have any codes. Let's go back. Maybe. Let's see. Read. Okay, we'll just do this. Uh, we might have codes from disconnecting it. Let's see, clear DTCs. Okay, let's cycle this off. Let's run a self test. So look at that, we programmed the solenoids and fixed the ABS problem. <laughs> yeah, no codes. So. We'll start this back up. And why you use the truck? 2019, 2019, yeah. Let's see, let's do a full system scan. Let's see. Rescan. I need to talk to your dad to see if he can talk to your grandpa. I, I wanna see if he my kids, um, take my kids um, to the house, to the train. Okay, yeah, he'll probably do that. Yeah. They have it at Christmas time right over at the... Yeah, but he said that this year they don't want to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what he's going to say. And I know your grandpa would love, you know. You should probably have your wife make him something. Huh? You should probably have your wife make him something. Oh, yeah? Well, he's there by himself. So if you make him food... Yeah, okay. oh, yeah. He like Spanish food? I don't know. He eats anything, she probably. Know, well, she knows how to cook the Spanish. Well, I, mean, I mean, like, even if you bake something. Huh? Even if you bake something, like a pie or something. Yeah. And bribe him with food. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can do that. There well, we go. Mom, she knows how to make some freaking uh, flan. Uh, uh, flan? Uh, how you call that? Pudding? 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 She's fucking good, man. Every time that she makes something, I'll, I'll be over there. <laughs> Let's see, where is this? Mm. Look at that. You still have that transfer case code. Oh, it's still there? The transfer case. Let me go back in the PCM, make sure that these are all old codes I 
It sounds so weird with that bag. Green, man. Okay. Freaking green. My wife, she's coming soon. Don't worry, over here is snow. We got a Yui washing us. It looked like it was snowing the other night. I was looking at my security camera. Right? Was it? Yeah. Okay, because I was looking at my security cameras yeah. at the shop, and I'm like... You can see, but it, right away, it will... Gone. No, it was like that for like 15 minutes at my shop when I was looking at the camera. I kept seeing this. I'm like, that's not rain. It's going all different yeah. directions. Yeah. And I looked at the temperature, said so it was 50 degrees. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I was watching too last night. I was on the bed. And I have camera on home. So I was looking. I said, hey. And she said, yeah, I think it's snowing too. My friend showed me a video. He's in, uh, is it Ohio? And he he had five inches of snow the other day. <laughs> Ohio? Yeah, he's yeah. coming. And like two days before, he showed me, he was, he made a video showing that there was leaves all over the place. Yeah. And then... <laughs> yeah, it, it, this weather is crazy. This year is going to be hard, man. It's going to be really, really hard. Uh, oh, we got another code now that yeah, popped my wife, up. My wife's just P13... P139C. So we'll check that out. Okay, guys, now we got a P139C, which is EGR downstream hose off or plug. So we'll have to check out the EGR and also our EVA or our, our uh, purge valve code before was because the solenoid back here, right there, was not plugged in. So I found the connector in the back. So now we're going to have to find this EGR hose. It's just baby steps, but at least we don't have our ABS coats. We don't have our solenoid coats for the trans. We're just uh, knocking this out here. So here, this is broken, so that's probably why it's setting a code for it being the hose being off. And this is—is is that open? Well, I just made this. Oh, uh, you can hear a leak when I move this. Okay, so maybe you used to plant small plant. Why don't you just get another one? Yeah, but for now, to see if the pool shut, shut, shut off. Well, it, it might not run the test again. I don't know. I would just get another one. It says it's, it literally says the codes for the hose not being on. So it's not a circuit. It's literally saying that the hose is disconnected. It's disconnected? Yeah, yeah. because I put a glue. No. I saw the epoxy. Look, but like yeah. when, you, when you wiggle this, if yeah. you listen, you can hear it. Yeah, I can Please. hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> so I bet you that's the issue. Okay. So there you go, I think you're going to be good to go. I don't know if you want me to look at the transfer case that another day or whatever. So, okay guys, so this C1979, uh, when we come into Pro Demand, let's see, it's our IWE, or Independent Wheel something? Integrated Wheel End solenoid right here for locking the front differential. And then when we come up here to the top, let's see, it's 29 10 amp. When we look at our diagram, 29 10 amp is right here. So when we come into here, here's our 29 10 amp. Let's see our headlight lights. Go to the other side. And we got nothing. Let's see if we can pull that out and we'll check it out. So look at that, completely blown. Yeah, what we might be able to do is I'll put my test light in there and we should be able to power this to see if the code comes back. Okay guys, so we put a new fuse in there. Now we got this C1979-12 code. So I'm gonna look that up real quick. Okay guys, so now it says that it's shorted to battery. So that's kind of interesting. Why does it show that? I guess we'll have to check the solenoid and see. Okay guys, so I got my test light connected to ground right there and I got my headlight bulb right here. So let's back probe this solenoid and see what happens. So we connect to this side, light lights. Connect to this side, our solenoid should click and our light shouldn't light. Put our light lights, look at that. Go to the other side. Okay, so we got these codes right here. So let's disconnect this. Maybe I'll have to, I'll have to get this. Okay, so I disconnected it. So let's check these. 
check our pins. So our light lights. Go to the other one. Light doesn't light. Let's check our codes, because right now, it should probably say that we don't have any codes if we clear this. Let's see. Let's say we have no codes. Oh, now we went to a 13. So we're at a 13 right now, instead of a 12. So if we go back... Uh, okay, looks like I left our diagram. Uh, let's see... So we have a C, nine, C, Hey, look at this. Our pinpoint test. Now we're at an open, so it can detect the circuit. So I'm pretty sure our solenoid is shorted. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure our resistance real quick. And let's see, I think I brought it up on here. Yeah, right here. A resistance between 44 and 70 ohms. Your solenoid shorted. Solenoid? Yeah, this is supposed to be reading. This? Yeah, it's supposed to be reading 44 to 70 ohms, and we got 0.1 ohms. So we to need zero. to get this one? Yeah. New? Yeah. Okay. What okay. it does is. What it does? It, uh, when it's commanded on, it allows vacuum to go through. I think it does vacuum on these. I'd have to look up for the years because they switched it one of the years and did the opposite. It's either vacuum gets put to the hub to lock them in or vacuum gets applied to release them. And this is shorted. That's why. That's probably why that fuse ended up blowing over there. So which one did it end up blowing? That. Another one? That's, I don't know. No, it didn't blow again. Huh? It didn't blow again. That's probably why it blew originally. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know why this failed so quickly unless something else happened to it from the accident. But yeah, it needs a new solenoid. So guys, I got my potentiometer here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I set it to 56 ohms. That's between 44 and 70. We're gonna connect it up and we're gonna see if the car likes it. Okay guys, I gotta connect it up. Let's clear these codes and see what comes back. Now, I don't know if this will be a 100% way to test this, but we'll find out. Oh, look at that. Crap. Let's go back. Let's, let's see if we can do a key on engine off test. I don't know if this will be a good idea or not, but we'll try it. Oh yeah, it's not gonna... It's probably not gonna like it. I didn't look to see, but it might be like a position sensor, and it might be looking at current. And I don't think these are designed to flow any current. But the fact that we were able to clear it and get no codes, the first time I'm pretty sure that our issue is gonna be our solenoid. Well, we know our solenoid's bad. Uh, Let's go back. Trying to do this one handed. Here we go, guys. See no codes? Let's go back. Retrieve. No codes, so it likes it. Let's cycle the key and make sure. Let's see. Let's cycle this key. Now, it still might come up with a, a code, but I think we should be good here. We just need to get a new one of those. Yeah, look at that. So if we go back, let's go back. Let's 
do a rescan. Check all our modules real quick. And I think we got this thing done. And they zip tied the EGR, so the EGR hasn't come back. So they're they're ordering another uh, another solenoid. Look at this. We're just confirming fixes all day long. That's what you guys gotta do. You just gotta always confirm. Always confirm. I try to prove stuff two ways. So like we confirm the resistance test, which I usually don't do a lot. I would just put a new solenoid in. The fact that we couldn't ground the other side. And our PCM is gonna be our permanent codes, which I really wish they'd change how this tool comes up because I forget that permanent means that it's a permanent code and not an active code because it'll say active. Look at this, look at this. We knocked it out of the park, pretty sure. Let's see. Transmission control module, look at that, no fault codes. Oh man, guys. Uh, so I'm going to end it here. I really hope you guys like it. Um, if they need me back out here, I'll put a follow-up video, but this is it. Hope you guys like it. See you later.